In this video, we're going to take a look at how to compose a web page. Composing a web page is very similar to composing a text page, except for with the web page option, you also have an HTML editor, which means that you can add pictures and links and create a much more dynamic uh, set of instructions or presentation or whatever you may want to use it for within your Moodle. So I'm going to go ahead and go up to Turn Editing On. When I do that, I'll see I can add a resource. I'll click on that, and right below Compose a Text Page is Compose a Web Page. I'll select that. As always with Moodle, it'll ask me to name my resource. I'll just call this Asia Project. Copy and paste that there. Now with the um, text page, it was just a simple um, area for you to either copy and paste or write text. With this, we see we have an HTML editor, which means that we can add, um, change the, the font size, font type, alignment, bullets, uh, text color, things of that nature. We can put in pictures, links, all that kind of stuff. Uh, in addition to that, um, we can toggle HTML on and put code in here as well. So it's it's much, much more versatile. Uh, basically, if you think back to the lesson on uh, the HTML editor that we looked at before, anything that you could do there, you can also do here with this. So I'm just going to show you some basic um, copy and paste uh, function here. So I'm going to go open up my uh, Word document that has my instructions. I'll copy paste that there. Okay, now unlike before, here I can change uh, font size, font type, so on and so forth. I can also change the uh, color of the text if I want to, so on and so forth. Now, it, it is good to use this for instruction, same as as text page instead of your students having to download Word documents and get instructions from there they can get it directly from this so if you are planning on uh, using instructions uh, instead of Word document using instructions this way I recommend the web page option over the text page option uh, but either one you want to use is fine also you, you can be creative and you can really use this for a lot of different things simply because it has the HTML editor so when I have what I want in this section. I'm just going to click Save and Return to Course. I'll turn it off so you can see what it looks like. And there it is. I'll click on that and my instructions will come up. And again, that's a lot faster than using a Word document. And this has been how to compose a web page.